it's currently 9 30 so we're gonna get into it there is a bit of a prep but nothing crazy just kick back relax and watch how i make my smoked salmon if you're the person that cooks for your family you know around christmas time you need to make a whole lot of food the tastiest you can make it and definitely the easiest so that's why i'm here to show you the tips tricks and whatever hacks that i've got up my sleeve to make just the process fun for you too because i mean man you're the one doing all this work it's going to taste good but no one wants to be in the kitchen for hours and hours and hours here's what we're going to be working with this is our fillet of salmon it's 1.1 1.2 kgs we're going to make a cure for this which is essentially it's salt and sugar so we got salt coarse salt you can see the granules coarse so it's not like evaporates into the skin and make the whole thing cucker and then sugar i've got a whole lot of sugar and it's brown sugar because flavor that's just delicious the molasses in the sugar really gives essence I, for my one i like adding a bit of black pepper and dill too totally totally unbeatable but totally customizable so don't feel don't feel like you you're caged in i'll never want to do that to you so all we're doing now is mixing it around i've got one fat lemon we're going to use the zest of the entire lemon it's going to bring a bring some brightness that aromatic is just going to carry through and give a little bit of um bite because the salmon's very rich we're going to be smoking it that's another strong flavor as well as the sugar that's just pure sweetness and then obviously the salt is just pure salt next up we've got a i've got a sheet tray with some baking paper you don't really want your salmon sitting on anything metallic because it can absorb the flavor like tin foil it can absorb it I'm not saying it will there's a possibility sprinkle some down so the salmon will be sitting on this bed and that's just so the skin gets flavor too the skin gets a little bit of love and try the beast on just like that and you can always adjust it for the rest we're just covering the top and we're just burying it like straight up we don't want to see any salmon all we're going to do now is chuck this in the fridge that just hangs out overnight next day comes around we're ready to cook into the fridge overnight i'm gonna go to sleep that prep literally took no more than 10 minutes that's it if you're wondering why i'm all dressed up i typically have a uniform that i film videos in but i actually played golf today my very first game maybe i can get better anytime soon fingers crossed all right good night i'll see you tomorrow okay it's the next day and this is what it looks like i'll give you a closer peep because it's running so you know how i say always about osmosis salt sugar draws out the moisture within the protein and and infuses the flavor within the meat so i've gotten a lot of questions like how do you infuse so much flavor in your lamb leg or your massive beef roast and stuff like that it's just literally season it and leave it for at least a day more than a day is preferable but it depends how big it is all of that moisture around it's like a mixture of water within the salmon bit of salt bit of sugar and then all of that flavors within this delicious fillet so yesterday i was faded as a done my first full 18 you know as an adult done that like when i was a kid but proper first full game of golf counting everything that was a pretty big day and i was like Fah, i just have to get this done and then i have you guys on my youtube reactions no what's it yeah my football reactions oh where's the cooking content it's right here mate i've got it i've got it for you guys okay and it's for Christmas too. Literally, make it. Don't be commenting, where's the recipe, where's the recipe? I got it, okay? I got you, I'm not neglecting. So, first, first proper step after taking it out, we need to wash all of this off. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but all the flavors are already in the fillet, and we're not gonna lose out on anything, because, you know, watch out, it's gonna drop. This water's moving around like this, rapid. We're gonna go cold water, and we're just rubbing it all off and like you don't need to wash it completely it's just until most of those larger salt clumps are done because 
With the cure as well, it's really firmed it up so we can move it around pretty easily. Some paper towels and we're going and just drying it off. Because what did I say yesterday? I was on, I was on one yesterday. Something about making it easy, simple and filling. Oh, bro, don't stress about the stuff that you don't have to stress about. Okay, next up we need to make a little boat out of tin foil. So, double the length of the fish. As easy as that. We're just gonna slide it on. Whenever we're moving the salmon now, we're just gonna be sliding it. In the boat, we're gonna be sliding it. You feel? So, I'll show you real quick how you can do this. So I've got a cookie sheet, relatively flat. Lift it up, and then you're just sliding it under and if you need to lift it a little lift it's actually not a bad day for grilling i'll show you what it'll look like outside there's the ocean there's the island relatively blue skies cannot complain at all seriously i am blessed our fuel setup we got scragglers in the front power basket in the back with our manuka salmon is in its boat you can see beautifully Glistening in the sun. Lid on, bent over the salmon. Three quarters closed. Bottom vent. Four fifths closed. We're cooking this super, super low, super slow. Even though it will probably take an hour because it's not that big one. And it's fish, so we don't want to overcook it. It will probably peak around 140 Celsius and that is the perfect temp but why I love this recipe take the tray inside is because bro you can cook it at like anywhere up to like 170 Celsius and it'll still come out mean as so bro you just adjust the cooking time let's say you're cooking at 170 bro adjust the cooking time to 30 minutes 30 minutes can you believe it you done hardly any prep and you're hardly cooking man that's why this is why i do what i do if you want to do it feel free tag me in your creations on instagram give me a sub give me a like right now because bro, i'm for the people always for the people but anyway i'll catch you it'll probably take me an hour so i'll come back i'm gonna have some lunch this is what i'm making with the salmon so if you guys want to guess, chuck in the comments or yellow the screen. Have one guess what I'm making to go with the salmon today. I wonder if anyone's going to get it. 45 minutes is up. I'll give you a little peep. I'm just going to check the doneness. It was cooking for about 45 minutes. I'm going to do the finger test, but if you have a thermo, you can use that as well. Same like any steak or lamb or anything like that. You cook it rare, medium, rare, medium. Well done if you like dry. See the feedback. Quite bouncy, so I'll be taking this off now. If you don't have a grill or smoke or anything like that, you can cook in the oven. Exactly the same temps exactly the same time so don't let that discourage you it's still delicious in the oven i've done it in the oven it was beautiful and this way is probably one of the only ways i cook salmon steamed or anything like that nah, 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 nah. it's this way and another special way that i haven't cooked in a couple years so that'll be pretty trippy to share with you guys but nonetheless i'll show you what we have tell me how incredible does that look the color you can really see the texture, the deliciousness. My salmon's done, and at the same time, these are done. So if you guess these correct, you get 10 points. Bagels. Oh my god. I made them American style. That one, a little bit ugly. But these ones are pretty spot on. Perfect color. Airy. Look how airy and high they are. Bagels and smoked salmon, cream cheese, capers, that whole shebang. That's my favorite all time all time favorite i can have that with my favorite drink to pair is an orange juice with a double shot of coffee 
It's so good. It's literally my favorite thing. If I could have that for brunch, I would have it every single day when I go out to brunch. <laughs> I don't go out to brunch. Fork. And it just pulls apart just like that. Are you guys in love? Because I definitely am. Now we are at that time of the video where it's my favorite time and I know it's your favorite time because you get to see what I've made. And like what I said, this piece of salmon was 40 bucks. It's not normally 40 bucks. It was a massive special at the local supermarket, 30 bucks a kg. Bro, this is typically like $45 a kg or something. Yeah, it's just skyrocketed in price. Guys, come on, what the f what the fuck am I seeing? <laughs> Seriously, what, what am I actually seeing? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, making stuff like this will never ever get old. Seriously, if you invest in a grill, I got a little crappy warehouse grill. If you invest in a real good grill, you too can turn $40 pieces of salmon to hundred and sixty dollar pieces of salmon because seriously guys a portion like this in the supermarket at the restaurants you'll probably get like three of these and they'll be like manuka smoked and this and that yes this is manuka smoked too and before I say anything else that's not the point before I say anything else I need to say my bit I appreciate every single one of you continuing to support my channel don't worry I haven't fallen off a cliff. I'm continuing to make videos. I've been a little bit, a little bit slow with the editing, but and nonetheless, my short video platform videos have been doing really well. So check them out. You can see on YouTube Shorts, Instagram, TikTok, and like I said, I appreciate every single sub supporter out there because you guys know this ain't easy. So this bite is for each and every single one of you. Mmm. Mm. Holy shit. <laughs> that was so good. Everything in that bite, you get so much fat just coating the entire mouth you get the smoke you get the rich salmon and then you get the sweetness everything is like so like even no one's like out competing each other oh my god oh my oh my oh my oh my two guys by the way you can eat the skin i don't know why you wouldn't want to eat the skin but straight up eat the skin it's so good for you as the fish oil supplements just eat some salmon skin. Omega-3 right there. Mm. Mm. Why is it so good? Literally everything. It doesn't need salt. No, you can taste the sweetness. Bro, oh, it's beautiful. It's so, so, so beautiful. Mmm. That was a real fatty piece. Holy sh! I don't want to go too crazy because I made those bagels, but I'll finish off with a little bit of skin, okay? If you guys ever get the chance to make this, I think it will change your life. Just being so straight up. So here's a part of the skin. Like I said, the texture was a bit leathery after the cure, after everything's rinsed, but that's completely normal, okay? Mm. Mm. Full of fat, full of flavor, full of deliciousness. I'm gonna leave you all right there. Thank you so much for watching the entirety of this video. Comment down below what you wanna see next. I'm still building up to Christmas, doing Christmas recipes. This is a perfect Christmas recipe. Blow each and every one of your guests' minds. Sub up, give me a like, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Mm.